My name is Luke T. Harrington, and I'm the author of Murder Bears, Moonshine, and Mayhem, Strange Stories from the Bible to Leave You Amused, Bemused, and Hopefully Informed. This is a book of some of the wildest, strangest, and raunchiest stories from the Bible presented in bite-sized chunks with tons of puns, pop culture references, and poop jokes. Like, just a ton of poop jokes. Uh, I wrote the book because I love the Bible. I think in the internet era, we're all familiar with the concept of the quote-unquote toxic fandom. That's a, a situation where there's a thing that's objectively awesome, like Star Wars or Bacon or, uh, I don't know, the Magna Carta, but... Then you start encountering the sort of people who like that thing, particularly in large groups, and you're like, wow, maybe this thing isn't as great as I thought, but the thing is great. It's just the people who like it who are terrible. Um, that's sort of why I wrote Murder Bears. I, I feel like there are already plenty of people out there who are ready to tell you what the Bible means, but I, I just want to take a step back and tell you what the Bible says. The Bible's a fascinating book full of deeply human stories, and an awful lot of people just haven't read it. So I want to present this material for you, warts and all. Actually, Murder Bears is a bit more warts than all, but you get what I'm saying. Murder Bears collects all the stuff from the Bible that makes the front row pew sitters clutch at their pearls, and it organizes it by topic. Poop, nudity, genitalia, horrific violence, seemingly pointless miracles, uh, etc. From Elisha, who unleashed some homicidal bears on some kids that, because they called him bald, uh, a long story, to um, Noah, who became a moonshining hillbilly the second he got off the ark, another long story, to, to Jesus himself, who murdered a fig tree, you know, just to prove he could. What I've been telling people is that I wrote Murder Bears not with the intent to convert, but with the intent to simply invite. There's no shortage of people in the world with strong opinions about the Bible, but polls show again and again few people have actually read it. My hope is that Murder Bears will invite people to pick one up and take a look, starting with the poop jokes. I mean, obviously, starting with the poop jokes. Um, with Murder Bears, I tried to write something that would be accessible to almost everyone, but would be deep enough that people looking to nerd out still can. It's a book that's organized into fun-sized narratives, and it's full of charming euphemisms for genitalia, but it also makes an effort to point readers to both ancient and modern scholarship. It's got copious footnotes, and I try to give an overview of what sources like the Talmud and the Church Fathers and contemporary academics have to say about the Bible's strangest passages. It's, um, it's something you could share with a friend over a pint, but it's also something you could hide inside the theology text that you're supposed to be reading for class. Fundamentally, though, Murder Bears is it's really a journey into some of the biggest questions religion and philosophy can ask. You know, stuff like, why does evil exist, and why is the Bible so frank about it? Um, how can a text be sacred while still being so human? And who would win in a fight between Herod the Great and some parasitic crotchworms? It's the crotchworms. It's a journey that I really hope you'll take with me.